Hi, I'm Mary Pat Carlson, and I'm the small scale food processing sector specialist for the University of Wisconsin Extension. And I've been traveling around Wisconsin visiting shared use and incubator kitchens, working to um, try to get as much information for startup food businesses and businesses that want to expand um, in the state of Wisconsin. And I've seen a number of kitchens, but today I'm in Madison and I'm visiting a kitchen that I'm very familiar with. I haven't been in the finished product until today, but um, it's an idea that was in the uh, works for a number of years and boy, what a, what a kitchen they ended up with. And today I'm visiting with Adam Hain and I'm gonna let him tell you about the Feed Kitchen in Madison. So I'm gonna let you just start talking and I'll ask you a bunch of questions. Okay. Uh, so the Feed Kitchen is actually five kitchen spaces that are available for commercial or casual use. Uh, we have a training kitchen, baking kitchen, a hot food deli line, uh, uh, meat kitchen, and a vegetable prep kitchen. Uh, can be separated out or used, the main area here can actually be used as one large kitchen if we have a large group. We can split it out into a variety of ways for just a great variety of uses. Our hours are uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The facility is accessed by key card. So during the day when I'm in the office, we have an electronic overlight on the rock locks. Otherwise, every door in the place is automatically locked and two of the doors can be accessed by users with authorized key cards. So everyone schedules their time with me. I, act, I authorize their key card for when they're going to be here. And then they just come and work when they need to. You have a lot of wonderful equipment too. Yeah. And we're standing in one, in front of one piece that's actually a roll-in oven. Yep, a and, double rack uh, roll-in oven. Uh, there's a lot of the bakeries in, the, in town don't have an oven like this. <laughs> and in fact, uh, the baking instructor from MATC, the first time that she walked in here went, <gasps> That's nicer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> You've got everything from what might be needed by a startup company to a company that's expanding. Yep. Yeah, we have we have some companies that uh, this is this is their first business, and they were waiting to get in to start their business because of this kitchen. They heard that this was coming. They had a dream. They had an idea. You mentioned something about storage and and things like that. You're in a very easy to get to location. Um, you have easy access even for trucks that are bringing in products either fresh from the farms or you're getting from yep. a supplier. Um, you have ability to unload loads, you have warehousing space, you have a walk-in cooler, you have a walk-in freezer. If somebody wants to use the kitchen for four hours a month, they can. If somebody wants to use it for 50 hours a month, they can. They only pay for what they're using. And there's another benefit, I think, from working in, in projects like this. I think um, there's a network of relationships that develop between the, the different companies that are working out of here, so they kind of um, learn from each other. But they learn a lot from the assistants other than um, just providing them with a kitchen to work out of. You require certain things of them to come in and then you provide certain business support programs right. for them. So we, maybe you can fill us in on that. So everybody who applies here, whether it's commercial or casual, has to fill out an application. Commercial application is a little bit bigger than the casual application. Right. And once they filled it out, I sit down with them, go through the application. If they're a commercial entity, we require that they have their serve safe uh, training. Right. Uh, they, if they're, they're doing acidified foods or anything like that, we make sure that they've gone through the pickle course. Uh, they have we make sure that they have the qualifications that they need they also have to have a written business plan and we have other groups that help them with that right. small business development center uh, Wibic and a few other ones that will help people write business plans right. so that they actually have a good idea and if somebody comes in and they don't have that stuff we don't tell them no we tell them not yet and then we work with them we get them to business coaches or we sit down and go through right. with them and plan out what they need to do the steps to have a successful business what are your um, goals as far as working with maybe nonprofits or other groups that um, aren't a, specifically a for-profit business? A big part of what we do and a big part of our grant structure is based off of nonprofits and uh, it, part of what we have to track is working with nonprofits, working with low-income housing, working with disabled or female head of the household uh, households and businesses. Uh, right. We have a number of, of women-owned women -owned businesses here. Uh, we have a number of disadvantaged businesses here and we have a number of nonprofits. So the actual first users of this kitchen were the River Food Pantries River Baking Program and Madison Urban Ministries Just Baking Program. Right. Uh, it's taking people who are uh, clients of the River Food Pantry that are unemployed, running out of unemployment, 
and uh, clients of mum who are recent parolees, bringing them in, getting them job training, getting them real life skills right. in the baking program, which uh, the curriculum is partnered with, uh, with MATC's baking program. Uh, it's a 12 week program and getting them bread baking, cookie, things like that, teaching them basic sanitation, teaching them uh, you know, how to wet, measure, weigh, how to actually tell the difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon. <laughs> uh, and at the end of the 12 weeks, they take a practical and a written test, and if they pass both of them, they get a certificate from the uh, Wisconsin Bakers Association. And then at that point, we actively try to get them out in internships and into jobs in Madison, Dane, and the surrounding counties. If somebody wanted to find out a little bit more about how to come in as an entrepreneur or as a nonprofit, um, can you fill us in a little bit on, do you have a website, do you have a phone contact, can they come for a tour? We have, uh, they can go to feedkitchens.org, they can look us up on Facebook as well at Feed Kitchens, and they can also call, uh, the number here is 608-204-7015. They can also stop by during normal business hours. Uh, I'm here pretty much every day, and I'd say pretty much every day of the week since we've been open, somebody has stopped in for a tour. The other way they can get information is the last Tuesday and last Saturday of every month, we have a user information session. Tuesdays are from six o'clock to 7.30 at night, and Saturdays are from two o'clock to 3.30. And it's getting basic information on how to start a business here, how to apply, how to use a place, and then we give a tour and answer questions. That's a great idea. Well, I'm going to jump in my car and head off to another site, but I'm so glad to be able to put my feet on the floor here and look at the equipment. We'll head out, but I will be back, so thank you. Great. Well, thanks for coming out. We look forward to seeing you again. Mm -hmm.